Welcome to Buzz Club everyone. This week we'll be looking at feelings and how we can use the weather to describe how we're doing during this coronavirus lockdown. Sometimes it can be really hard to find the words to describe difficult feelings. But by using the weather, we can describe how we feel on the inside. So take a moment and sit down and close your eyes and think about how you feel inside. What's in there? Are you cloudy, stormy? Is there a rainbow? Is it sunny? Think about the weather inside of you today. We don't need to feel any pressure about changing the weather inside and how we're feeling. What we need to do is notice the feeling and let it pass, just as we do with the weather outside our window. Today, for our Buzz Club activity, I'm going to invite you to create your own homemade weather station that will allow you to monitor the weather from outside of your window. We know that spending time outside and taking notice of our natural environment is part of our five ways to well-being. So being mindful in the moment outside can really help us with our well-being. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to make a barometer. So you just need to gather some equipment. To make a barometer, you're going to need sellotape coloured pens, a jam jar, either a straw or a skewer, whatever you can find at home, and a balloon. Cut the end off the balloon like you see me doing here and then stretch the balloon over the top of the jam jar and then secure it tightly with a few elastic bands. The next stage is to decide whether to use a skewer or a straw. I'm using a skewer here. Secure your skewer onto the rubber lid with a piece of tape. Next, stand a piece of paper or card against your skewer and mark a straight line where it meets the paper. Mark your middle line with a pen, just as I'm doing here and then mark two lines either side of your middle line. The top line will measure high pressure and the bottom line will measure low pressure. You can ask Mr Thorley or Mr Freeze to explain to you how that works with pressure and the weather. For now, I'm drawing a sun on the top line and then some rain and clouds on the bottom line. Stand your barometer jar now against the measuring gauge and you will see the stick move up and down depending on the weather. Next, as part of your weather station, we're going to make a rain gauge that measures rainfall. You will need an old plastic bottle, a permanent pen, a pair of scissors and a ruler. On your bottle, measure out five centimetre intervals, going up to 20 centimetres. Once you've drawn those on, then you can measure in the single one centimetre markers, just as I'm doing here. Next, you'll need your adult helper, as we're going to cut the top off of the bottle, round the 20 centimetre mark. Once you've cut the neck off the bottle, you can turn it upside down and pop it back inside the end. This becomes a funnel that catches the rain. Lastly, we're going to make a weather vane that tells us the direction of the wind. To make the weather vane, you're going to need to gather some equipment. A straw, a pencil with a rubber on top, a plastic pot with a lid, some Play-Doh, a pin, 
sheets of paper and some coloured pencils. You can decorate the outside of your plastic pot just as I'm doing here. So I'm writing a little message saying which way does the wind blow? Next we're going to apply some glue to the back of the cardboard to stick it to our plastic pot. Next we have to make the compass lid to go in our plastic pot top. Draw around the top with a pencil and cut round the circle. You'll need to draw the compass points onto your disc, so mark it at north, south, east, west. Next you'll need to ask your adult helper to put a hole in the top of the lid for you. We now need to make a hole in the top of the compass, so in the centre point use a pencil and push that through to make the hole. Then glue your paper disc onto the top of your plastic lid, just as I'm doing here. Now we need a weight for the bottom of the plastic pot so it doesn't get blown over. So use your Play-Doh and push it firmly into the bottom of the pot. Once you've secured the lid tightly onto your pot, push your pencil through the hole and push into the Play-Doh so it's nice and tight. Finally, we make the pointer. As you can see here, I've used a paper straw, a piece of square card and a piece of triangle card, which I've secured onto the straw. Once it's secured, then you can push your pin through the middle of the straw asking an adult for help, and then push this pin into the rubber top of the pencil. This becomes your pointer for your weather vane. Well done, you've now completed your weather station. We can now move our rain gauge and our weather vane outside, ready to measure rainfall and wind direction. Your barometer stays inside on your windowsill to give you an indication of whether it's going to be sunny or raining. Remember, just as we can monitor the weather outside with our new weather station, it's important we also monitor the weather inside of us. How are we feeling using our weather describing words? Keep an eye on your weather and remember to share Thanks for coming along today. Look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye, Buzz Club members.